watching what's going on the world stage. I'm looking at the fact that Germany, France, and a bunch of other European countries that stood up on the same side of the fence when tyranny was coming down on us. We've got an open border allowing this stuff to come in freely. And what are we doing about that thing in particular, uh, an open border? What are we doing about it? Okay. You're talking about my freedom uh -huh. and everybody's lives who gave here. Everybody who put their life down on the line and you're saying, ah, it's okay, it won't happen to us. It's happening in France and it's happening all over. Uh, sorry, sir, what's happening? The people are saying no, because they're, these two cultures will not mix. Which two cultures are those, sir? Islam and Christianity. No, 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 sorry, sorry. okay, hang on. Let's, let's be, sorry. Democracy only works in a country like Canada. If people are free to express their fears, their concerns, their opinions, and we get an opportunity to respond to them. So I'm going to ask you all to be respectful of the speaker's question, uh, and thank you for, for sharing your concerns, sir. I've got one other thing I want to say about it, okay. is that they've openly sta stated that they want to kill us. Okay. 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 And you're letting them in. Okay. Um, sir, uh, how am I going to go on this one? <sighs> Canada is a country that was built by immigration. Um, <laughs> waves of people uh, came to this country, were uh, welcomed uh, by the folks who had lived here for millennia, the uh, First Nations and the folks here on Treaty 4 land, uh, and uh, built this society with waves of people fleeing religious prosecution, fleeing tyranny, fleeing to try and build a better life for themselves here than they had back home. And whether it's uh, folks uh, fleeing from uh, world wars or fle fleeing from civil wars, these people always want the same thing, to be able to live in peace, to raise their families, and to create a better future for themselves uh, and their communities. And that is what generations upon generations of folks have done here in Canada. And that is what has created this extraordinary diverse society we have. Now Canada remains one of the only countries in the world where citizens are by and large positively inclined towards immigration. And one of the reasons we are that way is because Canadians have confidence in our immigration system. We have a system uh, that over the past decades has done a very good job of not just uh, having people come to Canada, but setting them up for success, helping with integration, helping them thrive in our communities, helping them contribute to growing this country. And we are a country that you can look around any room and see the diversity that has made us strong. And any Given generation, I remember uh, talking to uh, Italian immigrants in Montreal, well, it, it, descendants of Italian immigrants in Montreal, uh, who would tell stories of the terrible discrimination that that first wave faced when they came over in the post-war years. It's not easy to pick up everything you have, cross an ocean and try and build a future for yourselves. And if people are doing it, it's because they believe they can build a better future for their kids and grandkids. Uh, than they could have a, in a place where they knew things. Now, the question came up a lot in the last election around Syrian refugees. You will remember uh, that we made a commitment in the 2015 election that Canada would accept 40,000 Syrian refugees uh, in uh, the first months of 2016. And we did that, and the way we did that was because Canadians right across the country church groups, community groups, families got together and pulled their resources and welcomed in Syrian families because these people were fleeing for their lives from civil war, from conflict, from bombs, from a terrible future for their kids. And they are <laughs> so grateful for the opportunity they have to contribute to a country where they don't have to fear for their kids' lives every single day, 
uh, that they inevitably end up contributing in ways that we couldn't even imagine to growing our society. It doesn't mean it happens right away. There are difficulties in the first years on integration. There's always going to be challenges. But we know that this has been the story of Canada. People coming to try and build a better future. And there are always reasons to be concerned, and reasons to be uh, worried about someone different arriving in your neighborhood. But what Canadians have always known is that it's better for all of us if we're good neighbors. It's better for all of us if you're looking out for your neighbor, if you're uh, understanding that we all build this success together. Now, our immigration system does a very good job of doing security checks and screenings uh, when people come in, whether they arrive uh, regularly through a, an airport or whether they cross the border uh, from the United States in an irregular way, as is happening uh, more, more often these days than, uh, than ever before. But we have an immigration system that is working. It's not an open border policy. We're not an open country. We're a country that continues to apply every single rule of law we have on the people who arrive here. And we're a country that continues uh, to abide by our international obligations to be a country that provides refuge to people who are fleeing uh, persecution and war. That is one of the things that has made Canada great. And that is one of the things that is going to be an incredible advantage for us in the world. We have a population that is aging. We need people to arrive with their talents, with their hopes, with their dreams, with their capacities to work hard, to build our communities, to build our future. We need to get it done right, but we are welcoming in people who are, uh, who are being turned away uh, from other countries for the wrong reasons, and it is an incredible benefit to Canada. You can uh, see all sorts of stories of people who say, wow, I'm not feeling uh, you know, the usual immigration accepting countries of Canada, the United States, Australia, the UK. Um, you know, Canada is the country that is benefiting from being able to draw in the best and the brightest because we are still understanding that economic, that immigration is an economic benefit to Canadians. It makes our communities more resilient. It makes uh, our, our country stronger and it will continue to.